Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make uh, any mesh uh, voxelized, or like blocky. Uh, so, it's a really cool style, I think. Uh, so, I'm going to be showing you a really simple way to do it. And uh, before we start this video, uh, this is my Instagram. If you guys want to go follow it, I post all my art on there. Uh, so, just go hit it up with a follow. Uh, as you can see, I need more followers. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I use this style in this render right here. Uh, as you can see, this skull is uh, like blocky and voxelized. So I think that looks, looks, looks pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. So I have this skull model here. And uh, it's on smooth shading right now. Flat shading, it's just this. So uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, it's going to be blocks anyway. So uh, once we have our model here, uh, if we go to our uh, modifiers right here and add a modifier. And we add a remesh modifier. We can see that it creates this uh, weird like decimate uh, effect. Like you're adding a decimate modifier. That's because we have this mode on sharp. If we change it to blocks, we can see that it gives us this blocky effect, and it's short. It's sort of in the shape of a skull, and you might be able to tell it's a skull in some cases, but this looks nothing like our uh, original model that we had. So the way we fix that is if we go over here to this octree depth, depth and increase this, uh, then it'll like increase. The best way you can describe it is it increases the resolution of the blocks. So, uh, warning. Uh, what I would advise you to do is if you have a model that you don't know what this value should be, just increase it one at a time until you get something you're happy with. Because if you increase it too much, it can crash Blender, depending on how powerful your computer is. So, uh, I've obviously already done this model. Uh, so, I know my Octra Depth, uh, something I'm happy with, is about 8. So, if I change it to 8 and give it a second, uh, we can see that it instantly increases the uh, resolution of the blocks. And gives us this blocky skull. And it looks a lot better than it did. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's that. A scale. Uh, you don't really mess with that. Because it just increases the scale of uh, the remesh. Uh, so, uh, that's that. Um, Alright, so now that we have our uh, little voxelized mesh. Um... If we click apply, uh, we can apply the modifier, and it'll just uh, apply it and make it to where you can't undo it. I mean, you can undo it if you press Control Z, obviously, but like, it's it's, it's yeah. Okay, so uh, if you wanted to, you can set up some really simple lighting by like deleting this light, uh, changing the background to maybe a bright white, um, having this give it a gray material, just kind of like that then up oh, we're in EV we go to cycles we can see that we now have this skull and it looks really good so if I add uh, just a plane just give it like that we can see that now we have this uh, really cool vox slice skull uh, so that's how you make it uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. It really helps the channel out. Um, go follow my Instagram if you guys want to see the art I create. If you don't, then that's fine. Uh, just, just it's, that's that's all you need. Uh, I also have a Discord if you guys want to join it. Um, it's I put uh, you guys can post uh, all your art and stuff on here, so uh, you can like ask for trick. I like three D art, two D art, SW memes videos so uh if you guys want to uh join that links in the description too uh thanks you guys so much for watching hope you learned something uh my name is viz i'll see you guys next time bye